your girl Superwoman and welcome to Ask Superwoman, a monthly show in which a random no one who knows absolutely nothing, zip, zero, nada, about relationships gives you relationship advice. Look at my hair, it's so big, it's so frizzy, long hair, no cur. Just kidding, I care. Sometimes. Let's get into it, shall we? Question number one. My best friend's boyfriend is cheating on her. Should I tell her or should I keep it a secret? I don't want her to be broken because she's sensitive, but she has the right to know. The boy's a jerk, but he treats her right. What should I do? The boy's a jerk, but treats her right. Now that sounds like a song a boy band named the Wax Street Boys would sing, my friend. I know what I do to make you cry, and I will never make you smile. No! Nahi! No! Ile! Sweetheart, you are being a terrible friend right now. I mean, sweetheart, she's your best friend. Yeah, she's gonna be hurt, but don't you think she'll be more hurt when she finds out and then finds out that you knew as well? Time to use your noggin. I think common sense is knocking. I made that up on the spot. God damn, Lily. I mean, if you love your best friend, you wouldn't let her date a can of wax sauce. Ain't none of my girlfriends dealing with no can of wax sauce. Only dating awesome sauce. Next question. Hi, Lily. Namaste. About three months ago, my girlfriend dumped me, and the day after, she started to mess around with my best friend, and they started dating. I'm still hurt about the fact that the same guy I grew up with would diss me like that, and I totally didn't see it coming. I don't know what to do. Let me tell you a little something about the bro code, okay? The bro code gets overwritten by the hoe code. Thou shall not disrespect thy brother unless an opportunity rises to fondle the bosoms of a fair lady. People of the world, I am sorry to tell you, but once girls, guys, relationship, and pee-pee feelings get involved, sisters for life, brothers from a different mother, best friends forever, none of that matters. Because when people are horny, they're douchebags. They're like evil unicorns. Thou shall never befriend the woman who breaketh the heart of thy brother, unless thy beer and her posterior insist it be done. There's nothing you can do about it except learn a lesson. Trust me, I know it sucks now and it hurts, but experiences like this make you strong. In life, you will meet two types of people. Those who break you down and those who build you up. And I promise you, sweetheart, in the end, you will thank both. Hey, there's a positive to everything. Hey, positivity. Hey, positivity. Next question. Sup, homie? Chillin'. Um, I made out with a guy at my friend's party, but he was already dating someone else, but he said he liked me more. What should I do? By the way, his girl is my best friend. Now, just from the way you've worded this sentence, you seem like a pretty crappy friend already. I went to this party, I got drunk, I made out with this guy, and then we like started dating for a few months, then we went to Vegas, and then we got married. Like, I don't know what to do. By the way, he's my brother-in-law. Way to leave the crucial details till the end. That's what I call procrastination for the unloyal. If you really cared about your best friend, you wouldn't have made out with him in the first place. But let's, for some cracked out reason, give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's say you were walking, your heel broke, you know, you tripped your fell, and your tongue landed in his mouth. Oh my gosh, yeah. <sighs> Whatever. But you haven't even confessed up yet? Not only are you being a jerk, but you're letting your friend date a jerk. You're double jerk. I mean, you ain't chicken. Why do you need to be so jerk? I mean, confess up. Yeah, it's gonna suck. She might not even talk to you, but you know, you made a mistake. And if you don't, your conscience is gonna haunt you. So confess up and do what a real woman would do. God, Beyonce is saying we run the world, but you just, just being a new boy up in her. And we're gonna read the next question. Last Friday, I went to a party with all my school friends. I got drunk and kissed one of my really good friends. It was not on purpose and I really regret it. But the thing is, it's very awkward when I see him. What should I do so it doesn't get awkward? Okay, what the fiddlesticks? You people need to stop turning into horn dogs every time you go to a party. Like, don't you dance? I go to a party, I dance. I listen to music. You know, I, t I take pictures. Y'all just walk around like, with your antenna sticking out. Are you a walkie-talkie? If you're not a walkie-talkie, why are you walking around like this? Freaking Thor swag, just have your hammer swinging out, waiting to nail someone. Shut him, Karo, okay? I see ass while sticking it down in here, okay? What the? Back to the point, you horn dog. Don't beat yourself up, okay? You made a mistake, things happen, you're human. I always say a situation is only as awkward as you make it, so hey, handle that like a boss. Hey, so about last night, we were cool, right? Okay, awesome. By the way, so like, was that the best you ever had, or? Yo, psh, I heard you won the lottery last night. Oh my gosh, yo, last night was jokes. Let's hug it out. Yo, psh, bestie, I heard you got some action last night. Yo, yo, me too, me too. What's that one? That, that's props, props, foot prop. So like round two? Next question. Can a guy and girl just be friends? Psh, a hell's no. 
Now you can disagree with me and continue living in your little fairy tale land there where there's no cookies, but here in reality, where there's lots of cookies, we knows what's real. Now, I don't care who you are and what you say, past a certain age, let's say the age of 15, give or take a few hormones, a girl and guy cannot be friends because somewhere along the friendship, one of the two will have feelings and have a crush on the other. Whether they want to admit it or not, it is inevitable. Because why? 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 Why, monkey? Why? Because we're all horn dogs. And especially to you friends that are like, oh my god, he's like a brother to me. She's like a sister. Oh my god, I couldn't ever even think of him or her like that. This is for you. Yeah, hi. I have two syllables for you. Remember them well. Incest. I know what you're thinking right now, you're sitting there shaking your head being like, yo, Superwoman is so wrong. You don't like me, right, sis? <laughs> Not even, bro. <laughs> exactly, there you go. Wait, what? Why are you naked? Hi, hold on, just let me just pull a little grudge style here and jump out of the computer screen. <sighs> you mad, bro? Oh, is that your little sister all up on your booty right now? Yo, I haven't seen your sister in a while. Where is she? Oh. Oh, oh, she's under you. Okay. Yo, you want to go to the Senza? Your sister's birthday's coming up. Yo, so how long have you and your sister been exchanging saliva? You mad, bro? Next question. Am I forgetting something? What up, t-shirt reference? A year ago, one of my best friends kissed me at a party. I previously liked him, so I was glad about this. Then we had a friends with benefits situation. Photos were exchanged. Yay, details. Then he cut me and all of our friends off. A year later, he wanted to become friends again and has started talking to me and all my other friends. I feel like I may start to like him again, but I'm not sure what I should do. Holy moly, the F is wrong with you people. What, are you going to the bar and taking shots of hormones? Like, huh, yeah, can I get one Coke, two waters, and one cranberry estrogen? Calm your pee-pee. Brianna, this is your fault. You keep making all these damn sexy songs. What do you expect to happen? I mean, people be eating that cake, 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 cake. And it ain't even a birthday party. Well, if you want a substantial relationship with him, it should be pretty easy to discover what his motives are. Go on a date with him and ask yourself the following questions. Number one, are there hands on your buttocks? Take a look. If yes, ask yourself, are they his? If no, question your life. If yes, proceed to question number two. Is he on top of you? If yes, ask yourself, are you possibly two pieces of wood and in the middle of a game of Jenga? If yes, good luck. If not, Proceed to look at the dial pad on your butt because <gasps> use a booty call. Calling booties all day. Ring, ring, ding, 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 ding. I'm currently with my boyfriend of one year, but I'm secretly in love with his single dad. I know it's wrong, but I can't help how I feel. What should I do? Okay, here's what you do. Unless his dad is Ryan Gosling, I say F the whole thing. Because unless that man is Ryan Gosling, I can't see how all that effort and energy is going to be worth the trouble. Time for the question of the month, the quam. I got a paper gut. Did I throw the quam on the ground? Quam? Quam. Quam. I found the quam. I'm getting married in a few weeks and I have a big dilemma. My fiance has told me that he's planning on staying with his parents to take care of them because he's the only son. How do I tell him that I understand his need to take care of his parents, but I can't live in that house with them for the rest of my life? Am I being selfish or thinking this? What you think? Question of the month, comment below, 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 syllable breakdown, what up, enunciation. Comment below, let me... <laughs> Get down, get down, and comment all around. Huge announcement. Huge. This will be the last time I do an Ask Superwoman video. But wait, no, wait, no way. I know what you're thinking. I'm just experimenting. Don't worry. I got you. I got you. What I'm going to do from now on is on the 14th of every month, I'm actually going to be doing a live Ask Superwoman where you can still send me in your questions. I'll answer them on the spot live. No preparation time. Ah, pressure, pressure. And then you can ask me questions live as well. It'll either be through like Ustream or YouNow or something like that. The link will be in the description soon. I know right now it says coming soon, but it'll be there to keep up to date with all that information. You gotta follow me up on Twitter and on Facebook. All that information is also below in the description. Thank you so much once again for asking Superwoman. It's been an absolute pleasure. Oh, you mad, bro? Don't be mad. Be happy. Don't forget to send in your questions to asksuperwoman at gmail.com. Please make them short and sweet. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. And don't forget to share, share, share because sharing is caring. Yeah, whoa.